Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. It has been about three weeks since I made my last video, so I've missed hearing from you all. Hope you all are great. Um, I just had some busy weeks. We had um, spring break for the kids, and then I had three of my daughters had birthdays and parties, and so it was just busy. And um, so today I'm gonna actually film two videos. So I will not have that long of a break um, until my next video at least. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, my name is Erin. I'm a stay-at-home mom to five children and I resell clothing on Poshmark and eBay and every once in a while on Mercari. I've been not on there very often lately. Um, I just feel like I wanna focus more of my attention right now on Poshmark and eBay, um, but I do like Mercari, so we'll see. I might change it up in the future, but Anyway, today I have a haul for you all and it is from a few thrift stores and I think I went to three Plato's Closets this day also. So this is a haul I found two weeks ago and almost everything is listed now and some of it has sold and is gone. Um, so I won't have those to show, but it's all kind of mixed together. So if it's from a buy sell trade store, I'll tell you. and. I will also tell you the items I paid up on just so you know that information. So starting with this, this I found at a Plato's Closet and this is only the second time I picked up this brand. It's Bryn Walker and the last time I sold it, it did pretty well. Um, so I'm hoping this will do well too. This is an extra small and just brown, like a light brown. It has those little slanted pockets and just tunic length. So I think I listed this for maybe 45 or 50. I found this at that same Plato's Closet. Carbon 38, I love this brand. I've only found it maybe six or seven times. Um, it's an XXL and it was new with tags. So this I think was marked at $18, but I'm hoping to sell for close to 60, maybe a little bit more. I thought it was a fun print, like a reptile print. It has like a little shine to it. And being an XXL, I don't think there's probably a lot available. So hopefully it will sell um, pretty well and get around that $60 or so for that. This I found at a clothes mentor store, Kate Spade. This was only marked at $8, which I was really surprised they had it marked so low. And it retailed, it was new with tags, retailed for $169. Just this orange little ruffle top with some eyelet detail at the bottom. I thought it was cute. And Kate Spade, it really doesn't sell fast for me, but it does sell and usually for a pretty decent amount uh, as long as I'm patient. So I'm hoping to get maybe 45 to 50 for this. This was also from a buy sell trade store and it was only marked at 10. And I thought it was so pretty. It's Lulu's, new with tags, and it is a white maxi dress. Just thought it would be so pretty for summer. And it has these little tie sleeves, and it's a wrap dress also. So I love this dress. I think it's so pretty, and um, hopefully it will sell maybe around $50. Another dress that I just love, Tory Burch. So this is kind of similar to Kate Spade for me, where... It does take a little bit to sell. It's not a really fast seller for me, um, but I'm hoping to get a good amount for this. This is a size four. I love this. I think it's so pretty, like the perfect spring summer dress, Easter dress, like a wedding guest dress. So I marked this one high. I think I marked it, it retailed for, I think close to $300, maybe a little more than 300. So, and it's in really good condition. So I marked mine, I think about 160 and hopefully we'll get maybe about 120 for it. This was marked at 20 and at this Clothes Mentor, I had a 20% off coupon. So um, off of everything. So that did help, that brought it down to, six, wait, I don't know, 16? <laughs> um, so I thought that was a great deal for this dress. And Spanx. Um, these are the seamless leggings. These always do really well. And this pair has little zippers at the ankle. They're dark green. So these should do well, maybe about 
40 to 45 for this pair. So this was one of my most exciting finds. This was at a Plato's Closet and this was only marked at $20, which I think was a great deal. Um, it is Farm Rio and Nua Tags and it is like a wrap jumpsuit. Just a really fun print. So the bad thing about this is I cannot find um, what this is called or any stock photos for this jumpsuit. So it's kind of, um, I still haven't listed it because it's bothering me. I really want to have a stock photo and the name of the jumpsuit because I feel it's, jumpsuits are so hard to just put on a mannequin or hang on your wall and take a picture to really show what it looks like on and I don't model my clothes. so. I kind of rely on the stock photo to help with that. So if you all have any tips on how to find Farm Rio uh, stock photos or the names of the item, I would love to know. I have used Google Lens and that usually helps me so much. Since these prints, I, okay, so I did find four uh, Farm Rio items at this one Plato's Closet. So I'll show you the others here in a minute. So out of the four, I only could find, using the Google Lens, I could only find one dress. And um, the others, it's not even pulling it up. And they're all such unique prints. I thought that it would be so easy to find it with Google Lens. And then I searched using like keywords on Google, on Poshmark, on eBay, and I just can't find it. So um, it does kind of have a stock number or a item number on here, a style number, but I don't know. Okay, anyway, I can't find it, but hopefully I'll figure it out. So anyway, this retailed for $398. I paid $20, and I would love to get maybe around, I'm guessing I'm going to list it probably close to $200, maybe $175, and I would love to get at least $150 for this jumpsuit. So we will see. So this is the Farm Rio dress that I did find a stock photo of. It's their tag. It's an extra small and I love this, so pretty, all these floral, like tropical, looks like fruits on here. So, and it's short sleeve, it's a midi dress. So this one I listed, I believe for either 160 or 175. It feels, I don't know, it could be like it's never been worn or at the most worn one time. It's in really good condition. So hopefully I can get I would love to get about 140 for this dress. And this one is also marked at 20. So this one I did list. I have not found um, any information about this dress or any other ones of the same one listed online. So Farm Rio and it is a size P, which I put, I put that it was a size P and then I said um, like an extra small. So it, this one is so unique too. I was really surprised Google Lens didn't pull this up. So I don't know what that really says, but it has these palm leaves. It's another midi dress and very unique. It's like a purple pink color. So this one, I think I listed at 160 and I would love to get about 120 for it. And this one was marked out also at 20. And then the last Farm Rio dress is this one. And this is another P, so I'm guessing extra small, and it's a strapless, like rainbow stripe dress, kind of, it'd probably be about knee length. So I really liked this one, thought it was really fun. And I don't know, I'm guessing I will probably list this a little bit less, just because it's not as substantial as a, of a piece, it's less fabric, but so cute. And um, I'm guessing I'll list it maybe around 120. And then this one, We the Free. And this I had a coupon for at Clothes Mentor. And so it was marked at 10, so I paid uh, eight. <laughs> My mouth is really off today. It's new with tags and it's called French Roast is the color. So just a tie dye. I think this should do pretty well. I think I listed it close to maybe 45 to 50. And then a pair of Judy Blue jeans. These are new with tags. And these I got at the Buy Sell Trade Store. I think they were maybe around $12. So I liked the kind of acid wash on this and all the distressing. It's a size 5 slash 27. So it's 
So the new with tag Judy Blue jeans, usually I can get about 45 to 50. So then at one thrift store, I found a lot of Spanx shapewear. So some of them have already sold. I think I've sold already three of them. And so I do love finding this. It usually sells pretty quick and for a pretty good amount. This is a large, just shapewear shorts. And I listed those. Usually I'm hoping to get about 30 for those. Another one, it's a size medium. This one's a little bit higher, to more uh, tummy control on this one. So maybe about 35 for those. This one had the size cut out, but I still wanted to get them. All of these are marked at $2.99 and $3.99. So if usually as long as I've had um, a few of the Spanx before that the size has been cut out, and as long as I show the measurements and make an estimated guess on what I think the size is, they have um, sold pretty well still. So that's what I'll do on these. They look like maybe a medium to me, but I still have to list this pair. And then I found this Spanx. This one, the size was also removed, but the nice thing is this one still has this tag attached. And so you can always find the style number on that tag for Spanx and that makes it really easy to list. So I need to list this pair too, but it looks like maybe a large for that. So maybe about 30 for that pair. And then this pair was new with tags. This one is marked at $6.99. So it's a large and maybe I can get maybe close to 40 or maybe a little bit more for this pair. So I found this pair of Lululemon leggings. They were marked pretty low. I think they were maybe $4.99. If they had been marked up, I definitely would not have gotten them, but there's their logo. And I wouldn't have gotten them if they were marked up because they are cropped and there's no size on them. There's not a size dot or the size tag. It does have Okay, so if you all know, I get confused about this too. So it has those two marks there and that's on the back waistband, but then on the side of the waistband, inside of the waistband, it has just one. So I'm guessing the size is, you go off of the one that has the two. So I need to look that up. Or if you all know, I would love to know how that works. I've, I've had a few other pairs that have been like this and I have figured it out, but I just can't remember how that breaks down. So we'll see, maybe 35 to 40 for that pair. And this pair of Free People shorts. I'm definitely checking out the short section right now. I feel like this is the best time in the change of seasons, like maybe a month before people are starting to look at the thrift stores. You can just find so many good things in the upcoming season section. So shorts, I've had some good luck with lately. So I found this pair of Free People. They're $68 retail, new with tags. Size 31, which is great. And lots of distressing in the raw frayed hem. So maybe 45 for that. This I was excited to find. It's rib cage, it's Levi's, rib cage straight, size 26. And they're a light wash with the raw hem and the destroyed knee. So I did notice like once I was taking pictures of it, there is some slight discoloration right on the like the middle part of the fly. It's kind of hard to see. At first I was trying to figure out if it was the wash, but I think it was like the wash of the jeans, but I think it is a little bit of a stain. So I did take a picture. I haven't listed these yet, but I'll disclose that and it might affect it a little bit on how quickly it sells and for the amount that it will sell for, but maybe 45 for this pair. And I like this brand in dresses a lot. BC, I think is how you say it. It's a size large and I just like the style. It's a kind of a mini dress the flowy sleeve and this maybe I can get about 30 to 35. Another pair of Spanx. This is an extra small and this one is also new with tags. So maybe about 35. We the free, free people, mini jean skirt, new with tags. I like that little slit at the front. So maybe 40 for that. A pair of Zaya Active leggings. These are a size 12. I like this pink color and then it has some white mesh on the side of the pants. So, and that's their logo if you see it. I have mentioned this before. It used to sell really fast for me, like within a day or two. Everything from this brand would sell so fast, but 
definitely more people, it's more saturated now, so it does take longer to sell, but as long as it's not marked up, like those I think were $4.99, that's a good price, I think, to pay for those, and um, usually like maybe a month it'll sell. It's really still not bad. And Athleta, this is a newer tag. It's balance pants, size small. I thought these looked so comfy. They're wide leg, and I have found a few of the sweatshirts in this line where it's like a textured fabric where it almost looks kind of like pilling but it's just the fabric texture so these are in really good condition super soft and comfy and maybe 50 for this pair as soon as i saw this dress i knew i was going to get it it is just a really fun dress the brand is frock shop which is sold through mod cloth they probably sell i think they have their own website as well um but it is this dog print, really fun, short sleeve. It's like a shirt dress, it buttons all the way down and it has a tie waist, which has fallen down. Um, but as soon as I listed this one, it did get a lot of attention. And I think I listed it at 55. This was at the thrift store, I think it was 8.99. So if I could sell it for around 40 to 45, that would be really good. Another Athleta item. This is a size medium. I love this style and I love this color green. I love wearing it for myself and I think it usually sells pretty well. So it has the racer back. It is a slightly cropped tank top and there's Athleta's logo. It has a built-in shelf bra. So I think that will do well. Maybe I can get about 25. And then another Athleta item. It is a swim top, which usually sell really well, even if I can't find the swim bottoms or if I just find bottoms people really like to mix and match Athleta swimwear so this one is new with tags and it's Seascape blousey tank it is a 36 BC and it retailed for 74 so I think I listed mine at 50 and hopefully we'll get about 40 another Athleta this is an older one it's her older tag and it's a size extra small but this is a very basic piece and it's velour, so I did pick it up. It was marked low, I think it was about $5. And it is a dress, it has a crossover at the bottom. It also could be worn as a tunic. So we're going into spring. This is definitely more fall, kind of winter, but um, hopefully it will sell somewhat soon for maybe about $35. And then Travis Matthew, this brand I've actually never picked up. I've definitely heard people talk about this brand, other resellers talk about it, and I have found it, I just have never gotten it, but I found this pair new with tags, so I thought I would give it a try. And these are like a gray striped pair. They're a size 40, which I think is a great size. So hopefully these will sell somewhat quickly. These are marked at $8.99, so they were a little bit high for a pair of shorts, but being new with tags, maybe I can sell them for 45. And then I also found this pair right next to that other pair, same size, 40. These are blue striped, new with tags. So hopefully around 45. I think these retailed for, I think they actually are still for sale. Um, I think Dick's Sporting Goods sells them and that's where I found them on the website. And I think they were listed for $80. And Patagonia, it's a size medium. These are the baggies shorts which always do really well. I think they make a really good like swimsuit cover up. I don't know if that's how most people wear them, but that's how I would wear them <laughs> in the summer. So they've already gotten a lot of attention and just a basic black pair. It has the drawstring on the inside. And these are a new style too. So these are from spring of 21. So I'm hoping to get, I don't know, maybe 35 to 40. 35 would probably be the lowest I'd want to go. This pair of Athleta, this might have been the one item that I should not have, well, I think, I don't know. It was the one I think I debated the most about picking up just because it's an older style, but I feel like I've sold this style before and it did well. So it's kind of like a jogger style, but it's fitted. Um, it has like the cuffed ribbed hem. So we'll see, they are in really good condition even though they are an older style. So maybe if I could get 30 for this, that would be great. And then my last item, another Athleta, and this is one of the older tags also, size six, but this style just does really well. Just the basic, it's like the quick dry fabric, straight leg. It has a little side zipper pocket and these are in great condition. So 
I would like to get about 40 for this pair. Okay, so that's everything from this haul. And there was quite a bit other items that sold. I'm trying to think what it was. I know I sold um, several Spanx. Um, I also think I sold some of the Judy Blue. I found some other Judy Blue jeans that sold. Um, so anyways, it's still a lot of great items left. And these have been listed for about a week. So um, hopefully those will all sell somewhat quickly. We shall see. But hope you all are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all are doing well. And let me know how sales are for you. They have been kind of crazy. Like there'll be a really good week or really good days and then all of a sudden it's kind of quiet and then just very kind of roller coaster I, for me. Um, but hopefully you all are having great sales and finding lots of great stuff. So thank you all for watching. I'm gonna film my next video. So I'll have another video out shortly for you all and I will see you all soon. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. All right, see y'all soon.